If you have followed my channel for a while, you might know that I am a fan of the Zealot Bluetooth speakers. And today is no exception, because today I have the largest, best sounding, loudest, <laughs> most powerful, longest lasting Zealot speaker I have ever encountered. This is the S97. I normally don't start with a tour of the ports, but Zealot is doing something a little bit different and I'd like to explore this topic. As you can see, there are two USB-C ports. One of them is for powering the device and the other is for powering other devices. So you can simultaneously charge your S97 and charge your phone or tablet or whatever you like. I think that's interesting. They also have the three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, the USB memory stick port, and the TF card slot. Now those might become more important to you in just a minute. As long as we're back here, let's take note of this thick rubber port cover. This is normally indicative of a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. However, according to the box, this is IPX6 water resistant. This is not waterproof. Sure, you can take this out in the rain. Do not drop this into the water. If you are an RGB fan, take note of this color cycling light mode. This is your only lighting option. You cannot change it. You cannot turn it off. So I hope you like it. I think it's okay. The controls follow the de facto Bluetooth speaker standard with the power button, the equalizer button, the speaker link button, mode, play pause, and then your track and volume adjustments there. The equalizer has three modes, balanced, bass enhanced, and vocal enhanced. I think that Zealot might be cheating in this regard. Balanced is balanced, that's fine. With bass enhancement mode, I don't think they're really enhancing the bass at all. I think they are just lowering the volume of the treble. Similarly, with vocal enhancement mode, I think they're raising the volume of the treble, and that's it. So I think this is really just a one band equalizer. Does that matter? I don't know, but I think it was worth noting. The speaker link button activates TWS mode. This requires that you would have two S97 speakers, but if you do, you can link them together in a left and right channel configuration, and I think it would sound pretty good. The mode button simply selects your signal source. The default is Bluetooth, but you can also choose three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, the TF card slot, or the USB memory stick slot. The ad copy says this is a 90 watt system with four speakers. I don't think that's exactly true. I believe there are two speakers and two passive radiators. The difference being a speaker produces the sound, the passive radiator responds to the sound. It does enhance the bass, but it's not a speaker. The S97 has a massive 16,000 milliamp hour battery, which would give you about 30 hours of playback or some combination of playback and power bank mode. One feature that I don't think should be ignored is the bottom of the speaker. These are not simply speaker feet. This is a vibration dampening system, so your bass doesn't get transferred to your surface. But what we all want to know is how does the speaker sound? Well, it's Zealot, you know it's going to sound good. However, depending upon the type of listener you are, you may need to exercise some caution here. I'm sure you won't be surprised to hear that something this large handles bass really well. In fact, it'll handle all the bass you throw at it. And it does well in the mid-range frequencies too, making this a very good choice for someone who's listening to rap or folk rock. While I was listening to the Bluetooth mode, I believe I ran into some compression artifacts in the higher frequencies. This could be due to the 2020 Bluetooth codec that they use, but you would only run into it if you are using lossless music. If you do want to enjoy lossless music, remember your back panel ports, which would bypass the Bluetooth issue altogether. If you experience compression artifacts, you might try 
Putting the speaker into bass enhancement mode, that should make them less noticeable or point the speaker at the wall and the bouncing around should smooth out the sound. How would I rate the Zealot S97? I really appreciate Zealot as a company because they aim to be a leader in the value market. I have tried many of their speakers over the past few months. I have always enjoyed the experience and this is no exception. If you don't mind the massive size and weight of the S97, this is my favorite. It sounds the best, it has the most features, and look at this thing. But this is not a perfect speaker. If you are someone that often listens to lossless music, you might have to work around its limitations. But if you don't care about lossless music, you just wanna hook something up to your phone and have a party, this is a fine choice. I'm going to give the Zealot a well-earned four out of five rating. I would not try to talk anybody out of buying this speaker. Thanks for stopping by.